Okay, so I'm gonna attempt to add fullness on the princess line in Clo. Um, I did give you a pattern to download and follow or you're welcome to use the princess pattern that you drafted yourself as well. Um, and if you read the book, um, it basically draws slash lines at the bottom of these two pieces and then it cuts them and spreads them apart and then it retraces the new pattern. Um, so, I mean, we could do internal lines uh, if you select this, you can right click and you can say um, blah, 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 offset as internal line. You can do, you know, three of them just like they had it and, you know, space them. So it's kind of like the book. Um, and then you can, um, you know, right click them and cut them and um, so, but, and then like, well, I guess you wouldn't cut and sew. You would just cut them and then space them out and retrace it. But I'm not going to do it that way and because Clode does have a fullness tool. So for those of you guys using Clo, um, I want to introduce you guys to that tool because I know you guys can cut pattern pieces. I know you can move them around and I know you can trace new ones. So, um, so I'm just going to delete those internal lines. Um, okay, the fullness tool took me a minute to get used to. Maybe it'll take you a minute too, but I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to draft like a square, right? Oh. I did not mean to do two. Okay, so it's a square. So let's use the fullness tool to drag it longer because that's essentially what you're doing to this pattern piece. You're just making it longer. So, um, okay, fullness tool. So you click, it says select your fullness line. Well, our line's going to be going down, 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 down. So I'm going to say click, click. I'm going to hold shift. I'm going to click the other side. That's our fullness line. And the arrows are even pointing the right way going down. Okay, so we have two lines. We have one on the left and we have one on the right. Um, so if I go like this, you know, the one on the left is 18 inches. If I do this, now the one on the right will also be that 18 inches. So as long as these, these two numbers are the same, you're adding fullness straight down. And I'll say okay. And it redrafted my pattern. I think that's a little bit easier because you don't have to like retrace it. Um, I'm gonna try it to these. <laughs> And we'll see if I am successful or not. Okay, so hmm. So I guess maybe what I will do is still use that internal line. I'm going to offset as internal line. I think I'll just do one of them. Um, and I'm gonna place it up a little bit higher so it's like the book. About like right there, I guess is fine. Okay, now I'm using my fullness tool. I'm gonna click where that internal line is and come down. I'm gonna hold shift do the same thing on the other side. So you can see it's a little bit curved. And now I'm going to double it because that's pretty much what they did. So it says four, I'm going to type in eight and I'm going to type in eight. Okay. So um, same here. Now let's see, I might, sometimes it's hard for me to work on the half scale. I might unfold this, you know, and make it, I don't know, let's see what happens. I'm going to right click, offset as internal line, four inches again, okay, fine. And then let's try this fullness tool. So I'm going to click here, and down, hold shift and get my other side. I think it's selecting. Yeah, I don't know what it is here. I'm going to do this side. I don't know. I just, for some reason, I just can't control it when it's on the fold line. So maybe you can. So I recommend you try, but for me, I'm going to actually remove my linked editing and I'm going to um, just get rid of the fold. So I'm deleting those points. So I'll just have to go in and fold it again, but I don't know why it just, I just have issues. Okay. So fullness tool, I'm going to click you and you click, hold shift, click, click. Okay. So now I can say eight and eight and say, okay. Um, okay, so now it looks like those pattern pieces, but the only thing is how am I gonna get these guys to scrunch? Well, I guess it's still sewn to the back, right? The side seam is still sewn to this back piece. So it's gonna have to shear and gather to do that. Um, hmm. yeah, that might be kind of tricky. 
Okay, well, let's go ahead and give it a shot. So I'm going to select the center front, right click, um, duplicate, no. What am I doing wrong here? Da, 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 da. We need to, um, if I get rid of this thing, delete. Okay, you, we're gonna unfold it. There we are, the symmetrical editing. Okay. Hmm, I'm so scared to sew this up. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Okay, so this piece I can get rid of. I don't need him. He's just gonna fall on the ground. Um, okay, let's see. Let's have it. Okay. I mean, that's basically all it is, yeah. So the back is the back, and then now we have some sharing. I will say the book, it's much more sheared. So um, oops, let me simulate one more time. Maybe what we need to do is add a lot more fabric in order to get the same effect. So, okay, um, I guess I'll use the fullness tool again. Let's say click, click, hold shift, click, click. Should I try 16? Is that gonna look terrible? Alrighty. Click, click, hold shift, click, click. Oh, why? <laughs> no, okay. I, I don't know what is wrong with me, but I cannot um, do it when it's on the fold. So I bet you guys probably can. And I can't wait for you to tell me how you did it. Because for me, I got to unfold it. It's not happening. Okay, now let's try it again. Oh, I kind of wish I still had that line here. Okay, fullness tool, here we go. Ready guy, here we go. Click, click, hold shift, click and click. Um, 16 inches, I think. And 16, cool. Okay, alrighty. I think I have to get rid of this point. Yeah, now I can unfold it. <laughs> this is gonna look so weird. I am worried that, well, okay, it doesn't matter if it can't go over her hips because it's supposed to stay up high at her waist. So I'll just have to pull it up on her. Okay, get up there, girls. Isn't she lovely? Well, I guess that does look a little bit more like our book, right? Is this an outfit you should wear? I don't know. But there it is. Um, yeah, okay, cool. So anyways, in Clo, I just used the fullness tool which automatically stretched out our pattern for us. Um, but of course you could have just done the cut and moved them yourself as well. And then like retraced them around. Either way is option. Again, there's more than one way to do it. Just because I make this video does not mean you have to follow it exactly whatsoever. Um, oh, look at this green line problem. We should probably rotate that. I wonder if that's causing any issues. Doesn't really seem like it is, but it probably is. So anyways, um, why I'm here, let's see your property editor. Rain direction. What if I typed in 10? What's that look like? Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, now let's try. Simulate. Any difference? Not really. A little bit, maybe. Okay, there you have it. 